to break our Cyclops. Let's do this. Yes. yes. Let's do it. <clears throat> that teacher. That photo was a shocker. Oh my god. Oh yeah. And he Never. thinks he could get away with it. Oh. Mm. He's gonna get kicked in the ass when we record the trial. Oh yeah. Mm. This one? No. This one? No. No. This one? Maybe. She's reading a yearbook. And I think she's making a checklist. Mm -hmm. And this one. <laughs> Let go of me! <laughs> That's right. You're taken. Sorry, young lady. Uh, yeah. We'll just avoid that. Let's just do what we came here to do, please. Okay? And break that cyclock, you know? Yes, I kind of. Yeah. So. Anyways, take that! Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> oh. At least it's two. It's not that much. Yeah. So, what was he up to? Miss Strictly, it's time you came clean with us. About what? About why you decided to let Lyle into the newspaper club. Um, does this have anything to do with the murder, Mr. Wright? It just might, if you tell us. <laughs> Why was allowed in the club, but with his background and past grades, it didn't seem like a wise idea to let him in. So maybe you were trying to find out something about oh, what he did. Sorry. And what do you think? Wait. And what do you think was so important that we had to let him join? I think you were trying to find out if Lau was responsible for... The painting! This! Take that! Painting. <gasps> That's the graffiti out... That's the graffiti art out front. Yes, and the reason you allowed Lau into the club. You and Mr. Oates were sure he was responsible for this. So you decided to investigate him by allowing him in the newspaper club. Keeping a cl much closer eye on him, even after school. <laughs> yeah! One one more now. Now then. One more to go. <clears throat> Hold it one second. It's very true. We thought he was responsible for the mess. He joined the club a while ago. But as it turned out, we didn't find any evidence that he did make that mess. We should have found out what we needed to by now and then dealt with him. That is true. That is very true. It's been a while since that blue badger <laughs> art was up. They would have found something about it by now. I wonder, if that's true, why still keep him in the club? Uh, well... Could it be that Lyle had something you wanted that kept him in the club? That is just ridiculous. As it turns out, he was quite the pro with taking pictures. Ooh. I'm not buying that at all. Time for some evidence. I think Lyle had something you wanted. And that something was... The photo. This. Take that! What is that? Oh. oh my god! It's proof that Lyle had dirt on one of the students. Where did you find this? Hugo was going through Lyle's locker and came upon it. If you ask me, this is proof positive of who drew that graffiti. What? Who could it be? I think I'll take a wild guess and say that this is our culprit. Our British Shota boy! Take that! <laughs> you can't be serious! I'm afraid I am. The person in this photo is Stuart Dentley. <laughs> I don't believe this. Yeah! 
Nice. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Woohoo! So, let's find out about Lyle's intentions. So, this is how Lyle got into the club. He had information that Mr. Oates wanted and probably bargained his way in. You're spot on, Mr. Wright. Wait. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I had a burp. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Lyle said that he had proof of who really painted that graffiti. So he showed you this picture and that's how he got in! Not exactly. We told him he had to get his grades up first, and then we'd think about it. Ugh. Ew, excuse me. And surprisingly, he did. However, he never had a chance to show us the picture. What? So, you never saw the photo? No. We told him he had to attend a few classes before he could join. After that, we would allow him to show us the evidence he claimed he had. We wanted to use it in a story for the school newspaper. But Mr. Oates had other plans for the photograph. Wow. Ooh. This is quite revealing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of shocking that it turned out to be Stuart. He doesn't seem the type to commit me the, the He doesn't seem the type to commit vandalism. You met him? Yes. He's out by the front waiting for a ride. We gave him his bag back. That was in his in this room. Uh, uh I hope that was okay to do. He left his bag here. <sighs> Mr. Wright, there's something I need to tell you. About the day of the murder, and about Stuart Dentley. Huh? W what is it? Ooh! Is something wrong, Mr. Dentley? It's just something that I remember. About the day of the murder. Stuart, he was in this classroom after school. <gasps> oh! Whoa, what? He said he had to study hard for a math exam coming up. And he said he didn't study, and he was good. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm, we got you. But I believe that was a lie. A lie? I know, Stuart. He doesn't need to study for exams. He's Thomas Light High's Mega Man High's whatever brightest. Sir. Yeah, I had to. Bring it back to Mega Man joke. I allowed him to stay if he managed to wash the board that night. He did, and after that, I left the school. So, do you think he stayed here through the night? It's possible. Oh! I didn't ask him to stay if he did. I practically forgot about it. As for whether he stayed during the murder, I'm not sure. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Nick! Oh, darn. Stuart was here in this room on that night. And just outside. <clears throat> Lyle was murdered. Are you going to talk to him? I have to. It's my job. Hmm. I see. Then, I won't get in your way. Thank you for your help, Miss Strickly. Hmm. We better get going, Nick! Before Stuart leaves! Then let's go! We better run! We better run! 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 We Stuart! must find- Come here, you little bitch! <laughs> God! Ah! He's gone! No! No! He must have gotten picked up already! Stuart was her only chance to find out what really happened that night. 
don't worry. I've talked to him about the murder already. He had a lot to say about what happened. Oh, well, that's good. I... No way. It's... Professor Hawk! You mean Prosecutor Hawk. Professor Hawk! Hawk! Prosecutor Hawk! You keep saying Professor! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Prosecutor Hawk! Excuse me. Just my luck. The prosecution got to him first. Damn it. Oh, God. So, uh, why are you here, Mr. Hawk? I'm the prosecutor for this case, and this school is where the murder happened. Please tell me you can figure out the rest for yourself. Yeah, that was a dumb question. I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess you're done for the day, huh? Yes, I'll be heading to the precinct to talk with the witness. You're probably just as informed about the crime scene as I am. Seeing as how you help the detective. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter. The evidence we have will be enough to put the defendant away. He sounds sure of himself. I have a bad feeling about tomorrow. Again. Um, what happened to the boy who was up here? What the? Well, um, what happened to the boy who was here up front? You mean Stuart? He's at the police station. About what you said before, is Stuart... You want to know if he'll be appearing in court tomorrow? The answer is yes. He will be. Oh, shoot. What? But, but why? Did Stuart see something last night? He did. He saw what happened on the night of the murder. What did he see? What? You're planning on not showing up tomorrow? Uh, well, no, but... You'll see when the time comes. He'll be staying at the police station all night as we question him. I have to head back and make sure his testimony will hold in court. So we're hearing Stewart testify in court. Oh, shoot. What in the world did he see? I'll be going now. Well, wait, Mr. Hawk! What is it, Miss Fay? I'm in love with you! Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was cute. I'm sorry. I see them together somehow. It's cute. I had to. Today, at the trial. Why did you ask us for another day? You had the trial won. It would mean nothing if I won the trial on an assumption. That's not how I get my verdicts. If the suspect is going to be pronounced guilty, it will be because of my knowledge of the investigation and <clears throat> skills in court. And because I found the truth on my own. I see. That's the kind of person I thought he might be. But still, why is it when he looks at me, it's with a disapproving glare? You and I are one for one, Mr. Wright. One for one? One loss in court each. I don't plan on adding another loss to my record, so don't expect a victory. Ooh. That was pleasant. Let's go, Maya. Mm -mm. What's wrong? Did I ever introduce myself to him, Nick? Huh? I... don't think you have. Then, how did he know my name? Um, maybe he heard about what you did last month? When you were <laughs> defending in my place? Oh, you know? boy. I guess. Another round with Lewis Hawk tomorrow. I better be ready. Oh, boy. And that's the All end of part right. four. Okay. Well, we sure found out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> They left Maya right there in front of the title. Hi, guys! My name is Maya Bay, and this is Trials of the Justice! <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's real cute. So, Thank you. we Thank found you. a hell of a lot more evidence and a lot more promising leads. And we found a day. suspect. So, the suspect comes down to one Stuart Dentley. The British showed up! The brightest student of the school.
the brightest British Shota! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Shinju, what made you think he would be one with the, for, like, have a British accent or something? What made you think to do that? Well, when I first saw him, I'm thinking, well, he's got to sound young because it's a student, obviously. So I'm thinking, oh, Eloise Trance from Black Butler 2. Of course, it's a little voice that I just designed up with a little British accent. So I thought, why not perform this voice? I see. <laughs> <Little demo>. Well, <laughs> I suppose that'll... I thought it was cute, and the name actually sounded slightly British, so I'm like, British accent. I this to be done by female. I now. can understand that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, uh, I... anyway, thank you guys for watching uh, part four of uh, High School Turnabout. Um, although it's probably not going to be really part four on, on this video, it'll probably be like, I don't know, part. Nine or ten. Nine thousand. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, that will do for 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 now. Um, so next time on Trials After Justice of the High School Turnabout, we will be going in for the final bit of the trial, and somebody's going to be convicted. But is oh, it going shit. to be the? Is is Sherman Diggett's going to get out of this? Or is he going to be living out the rest of his life in a cell singing the blues or playing the blues? Or some of don't come to that because that dude seems cool. He needs to get he He, he should um, get out of this. He's no murderer. Mr. Mr. Diggins is like amazing. He should have gone back into music, though. He did. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, even though um, even though um, what happened back then um Still, I feel after a long while, he he needs to he, maybe he needs a little bit hint of inspiration, something to get him back into music making. I'm sure he could still make it big if he tried, you know. True. I mean, according to Hugo Funboy, he's like a living legend, one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> yeah, he, like he's super cool and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm Hugo Funboy. <laughs> That's my impersonation for here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, guys, <laughs> um, we're going to stop here for now. So, tune in next time as we will hop back into the courtroom. So, till then, I am Arklad. And I am Shinju. And we shall Wait, no, see you Shinjupe. next time. There we go. <laughs> and we shall see I you am. next time for more Phoenix Wright Trials After Justice. So High school turnabout. So, see you guys soon. Till next time.